What's up, guys? So we are uh, we are cruising up to Denver. Uh, the other day, I mentioned you know basically the whole situation with the BMW and trying to figure that out and what exactly to do. Um, I was searching on Facebook, and Facebook is kind of weird sometimes. Like I love it and I hate it at the same time. But literally, I was searching you know like all day just off and on just you know scrolling through like BMW stuff and then all of a sudden it just like popped up a post like five minutes ago and uh, I think it's a, it's a 2000 323i it's white four-door manual and uh, you know it's it's within the price range and the budget and everything and uh, so we are gonna go look at it Ty is at home shipping right or he's in my basement shipping stuff right now David is at the shop uh, prepping the tailgate and uh, some other stuff for paint on the on the truck um, and we are cruising to Denver. I get Pikes Peak. As the trees, as the trees get in the way. Yeah, look at that. I love the mountains. I don't know what I would do without the mountains. I'd probably feel lost. But uh, we we cruising uh, Dirty Larry, and we got the tow dolly with us today. You can barely see that guy right there. Um, you could, uh, you know, as as every diesel truck owner that tows a trailer, you can't even tell it's back there. You know, I mean, if, if you own a diesel truck and you tow a trailer, you can't like tell somebody that you towed a trailer without even without telling them that you couldn't even tell it was back there. But literally, this thing, like, you can't tell it was back. Like, it, 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 there's just, I mean, you hear it, you hear it, but you can't like feel it at all. Um, yeah, look at that. Sun's going down. We just cruise. Oh, I got to check engine light. It says left fuel bank, like uh, fuel trim, or something like that. Left bank fuel trim or something. I do have a, a thing, I haven't talked about this yet on it. It's still stock with all the DPF stuff on it, but it is tuned. Um, I'll be talking about that in a little bit, probably in a couple videos, but uh, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep driving. Brothers. All right, guys, take a look at this. Oh, wow. I just, uh, I can't believe how clean it is. So this car has 256,000 miles, but uh, they said they bought it, I think three or four years ago, and it had uh, a big old stackery seats that came with it. So it was really, really clean, um, really well taken care of at that point, and they basically did the same thing since then. Um, but yeah, so the interior is really nice which I'm really stoked about. It's nice, it's complete. Um, look at the seat. It doesn't look like a 200,000 mile seat. Literally, I, I feel like this is like a 80, uh, let's, let's call it a 148,000 mile car. Um, look at the door panels are clean, it's got tinted windows, the sunroof isn't messed up. There's like no dents on it. There's a little thing right here, but that's fine. There's no hell damage. There's like, doesn't really look to be any like door dings or anything like that. I mean, just overall a really, really solid car. But it does have uh, the the struts are really, really blown. So yeah, I just uh, I stopped here real quick. I'm gonna go grab me some foods and uh, rip home. Ah, uh, so we made it back to the shop. I think we're getting better fuel mileage well at least when the dpf isn't freaking regenerating on this guy look at this freaking clean bmw man that's a clean bmw all right so we're gonna go see what dave's doing dave's been here this whole time working on uh big dirty so we're gonna, we're gonna see what he's doing david how you doing Not what are you looking up Our so Dave got some things done, but I don't know if we're going to show you those things. Should we? That's another video. We're going to look at the BMW. Dave, come look at this thing. Oh. See what you think. What do you think of the mirrors? Oh, this one. What mirrors? Oh, did you put the mirrors on? Your truck doesn't have wiring for the turn signals. 
Are there running lights on the mirrors? Well, yeah, it, it never had running lights. Yeah, because, well, the wiring is like there, so you can't add it. Man, those look nice. Makes it look like a new freak. All right, let's go look at this thing. Oh, you got the plastic dick off? Wow. All right, come look at this. You're going to be, well, I don't know if you're going to be stoked, David. It already looks a thousand times better than the other one. Yeah, you should hear it. Like, you can't hear it. That's like the thing. It's just a freaking, uh, let's see, we got the key. Yeah, I haven't really, I haven't really showed these guys. It has a, te a headlight out though. Oh, and you can't lock it because the, because the thing. But look at this. Oh, man, yeah, the interior looks way better. Oh man. Damn. Look at that. Yeah. Tinted windows. Look at the back seat. The back seat is where you're like, wow. That's cool. Look at that back seat. I mean, it, it's that's like, that's an entirely so much nicer than their one. That's like a whole different look car. At the door panels. I know. And the roof. Look at yeah. the roof. That is like nice. insanely clean roof. I mean, we weren't even really have to paint it. No, I, I don't think we'd need to. Like, it kind of sucks, but yeah, which, listen to this guy, though. Uh oh. No, lock steering wheel. Alright, cold start. Oh, man. Oh man. Listen to that thing though. Let's put all the stuff works too. It has a headlight out though, Dave. Look, the fog lights work though. I mean the fog lights on the other one work, but listen to that thing. Yeah, it sounds good. So this one has two hundred and fifty-four thousand miles. And uh, well I mean you can tell by the front, it's got like a little bit of rock chips and stuff on the headlights. Yeah. Like the hood. The hood has rock chips, but I mean, honestly, like we could paint the hood and, well, we're gonna have to paint the bumper anyhow, because we have the M3 bumper. Yeah. We could paint the, the hood, the bumper, and then blend it into the fenders, and then get new headlights. But listen to that thing. It's like a freaking spring chicken. Yeah, that's good. This is probably gonna make people more pumped. I hope so, yeah. <laughs> it's It drives nice, too. And, like, the clutch feels good, the tranny feels good, it shifts like butter. Like the shifter like doesn't flop everywhere. Yeah. And I feel like it's faster too. It probably is. It probably isn't like all beat to death. But look at the paint. I mean really the paint isn't bad at all. And it has a little bit of swirls in it. But I mean honestly if we like clay barred this thing and gave it like a, a two stage polish. Like if we compounded and polished this thing. It would look like freaking new. Yeah. So I mean I, I almost don't want to paint it. Yeah I don't think we need to paint it. Either. Like there's like no door dings either. Yeah. I'm stoked. Oh, and they replaced the radiator and the overflow bottle. Um, he did a valve cover gasket recently, <laughs> and it has a new battery in it. Remember when that guy was like, thousand bucks? I ain't coming off of it. <laughs> take it apart? Yeah, he wanted a thousand dollars for a taken apart automatic one that had more miles probably, and was beat up, had mismatched tires, and was like all squatted. But the only thing, the, the struts are blown on this, which I mean, we're gonna put coilovers on anyhow. Like, literally, I don't think it could have worked out any better. I just can't believe how clean it was. Like, when we went, like, I seriously thought, like, I seen two pictures on Facebook, but, I mean, it's nice. I almost don't wanna give it away. Like, I almost wanna daily it, but, I mean, how many dailies do you need? Yeah, all right, well, let's, let's get her unloaded. All right, we're taking David for a drive. All right, Dave, what do you think? I mean, it's nice. Yeah, it's, it's like really nice. Somebody's gonna get it for free. Yeah. I mean, these things are like, I, I feel like the manual ones are actually like desirable. I'm surprised that you got it for so cheap. Me too. And like, it's actually in good condition. I mean, really like, and the engine feels great. Feels like, yeah, you're almost out of gas, Helms. So you don't think I should be doing that? I don't know. It's 12 miles a gallon to the floor. No, but so he said that when they got it, they bought it in 2015 from a dealer. Um, the guy who like traded it in at the dealer or whatever had all the service records, like had like a mountain 
like handing them just a mountain of receipts for it. And I mean, honestly, like, I feel like it's a 148,000 mile car, you know? What yeah. do you think? Like a well taken care of, like, 148. I mean, it was probably like some BMW guy that had it and then like, he wants something else. Yeah. He actually like had it price serviced. Yeah, I mean, he probably serviced it how it was supposed to be serviced. It's like my grandma's Lexus. Yeah. <laughs> and that thing almost has 200,000 miles in it. You probably can't tell, huh? Alright guys. So hopefully you guys are a little bit more stoked about this whole uh, this whole thing. Let me know. I know this video was a little bit shorter than normal. It was pretty much just running up and grabbing this thing. But we are doing things in the background. David, obviously he worked on the truck pretty much the whole time when I was gone. Um, again, thanks to the people that, uh, that that sold me this this thing. I'm pretty stoked. Um, show me the name of the car is Emily. So this is Emily. Um, you know, say hi. Say hi to Emily. Let me know what you think we should do. I, I kind of was thinking, uh, if you guys have seen our uh, our M Power shirt, which is like a BMW themed like motion auto shirt, it's white, silver, green, and black. So I was kind of thinking of maybe not necessarily doing painting the whole thing because I mean the factory paint on this thing is really really good. Um, you know, again, like I was telling David, paint the hood. Uh, you know, it has like a little bit of clear coat fade right here. So paint the hood, get rid of the rock chips, uh, new headlights, that M3 bumper kind of blended into the fender. So, that, you know, all the, everything just matches. And there's a couple little rock chips on the front of the fenders. That's why I'm saying that. Um, and then maybe do like a livery on it, you know, maybe do like a black, uh, black, silver, green, um, livery on it. Kind of maybe like a little design up the side, maybe something with like the trademarked, like motion auto, like, you know, black, silver, green, like with the line basically in it. Um, but let me know. I'm, uh, I'm definitely, I, I, I definitely would, I'm a lot more comfortable with, uh, you know, kind of giving this thing away, um, you know, and, uh, and I'll do something with, uh, with the other car. Maybe, maybe this freaking Mercedes sitting back here with the OM606, that'll get thrown into that, that BMW. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, Obviously, we will doing a little, be doing a little bit of freshening up on this. Uh, I do plan on now uh, getting a set of BC Racing coilovers for this one. Uh, the other one basically had some, uh, it's JOM. It's like a cheaper brand coilovers that had decent reviews. Um, but uh, now that we are an official like BC Racing dealer for coilovers, we're going to throw a set on here. Again, with the Conig wheels, we still haven't figured out which ones we're going to be doing, but uh, we are at SEMA, so we're going to go ahead and get some stuff on order. And, uh, yeah, I am really stoked for this thing. Hopefully you guys are as well. The freaking 6.7 did a great job. You could barely tell it was back there. <laughs> sunroof on that other car doesn't do a bunch of crazy things, whereas this one, the sunroof had... Has like it, it's like it never goes up to where it needs to be. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you uh, you think I should do with this car. Um, I'm probably gonna do uh, you know kind of body work it out real quick. Not really. I don't know. I mean, freaking track cars. I, the roof is gonna be kind of wavy. I was thinking about honestly just kind of throwing one more skim on that, and then a skim of icing on the rest of those other little things. Uh, da it real quick, and um, you know squirt some primer. Uh, D8 again and then throw just a quick single stage on it just so that way it's uh, you know kind of track ready or whatever for me as far, but man I, how many freaking how many freaking cars do I need I mean honestly I might just put this one back together and sell it um, or put that diesel in it obviously you know remember how I was telling you guys that uh, there's this company in the UK they make an adapter kit that goes to a uh, for that Mercedes like OM606 turbo diesel engine, they make an adapter for that to a BMW tranny. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just put that in here. Um, I thought about putting it in the Mustang for the drift car because the Mustang is going to be the next drift car. Let me know what you guys want me to do after this giveaway. So I think that's going to be it for tonight. Appreciate you guys watching and uh, and be sure to, to you know leave me some comments. Let me know what you think, David. What do you think of this? Uh, the boost weather hoodie and the power strip thing here. here sh show them the back of the boost weather. It's hoodie. not. It's not too bad. Well, actually, this isn't the hoodie. This is the zip up. Yeah, the zip up. Yeah. All right. So if uh, if you guys get yourself one of these T-shirts, which this is, I think this is one of my new favorites. With I, I just like all the colors. Um. 
So this is like six entries, automatic entries in the thing, and then the hoodie zip up or whatever is between uh, I think 10 and, and 12 entries, and then if you get like a triple XL, it goes a little, up a little bit more. Uh, so a lot of people ask questions about uh, the, I guess the, the giveaway stuff about is it how the entries are tracked and everything. So everything's automatic through the website. So every time you you make a purchase, every five you know five dollar increment is an automatic entry, and it's basically automatically taken into our system. Um, as well as when you do multiple orders, it, it all adds up and they all kind of go in, you know, together. Se they, they go in like separately down the list, but they're they're in there. Same thing. So um, appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys are stoked, and uh, it's gonna be it for today.